Hello everyone, myself Prithik Sharkar and I have secured All India Rank 2 in this year's ICR PG examination in Entomology and Nematology. I am from West Bengal and I have completed my graduation from Dr. R.P. C.A.U. Samastipur Bihar. So today I will share some of the books which I preferred throughout my preparation for JRF. So let's start. So first of all we have to discuss about, about the entire syllabus of JRF entomology means what should we have to read and uh, what should we have to learn throughout our preparation. So our syllabus mainly divided into three parts that is major subject, minor subject and general agriculture. The major subject consists of agricultural or horticultural entomology and the minor subjects consist of nematology, apiculture, sericulture and plant protection portion and finally general agriculture. So now let's discuss about the syllabus of entomology our major subject. So entomology mainly consists of the history of entomology portion here we have to learn about the history of Indian and the rest of the world history of entomology and the names of different scientists and their works. Then we have to learn about insect taxonomy, insect morphology, insect physiology or anatomy, the crop pest portion, the integrated pest management or IPM, the HPR or host plant resistant, the toxicology portion or we can also say this portion it is about insecticides and their mode of action, the insect ecology portion, the biological control and the storage grain paste, rodents and other invertebrates like crabs etc and beneficial insects uh, which consist of apiculture, sericulture and lac culture means honeybee, silkworm and lac insects, insect vectors. This chapter is very important. Recent days uh, in JRF 20, uh, 2022 and 2023 a lot of questions were asked from insect vector chapter. So the weightage has been increased uh, for this chapter and the pesticide appliances and finally nematology. So now I will suggest some books which I used uh, in my preparation days. So first I will suggest about the books of uh, entomology. So the first and foremost the most important book is Insecta and Introduction by K. N. Raghumarthi et al. Uh, and it is also uh, consist of T, uh, other TNAU authors. This book mainly consists of three portions like insect morphology, insect physiology or anatomy and insect taxonomy and the history of entomology part is also covered in, in this book. Uh, this is the most important book and an entomology aspirant should have to read this book at least 8 to 10 times and regular revision is must because this is the most uh, important book for insect taxonomy, physiology, morphology, these portions. Next, the principle of applied entomology or we call it Insecta 2 because this is also written by the same TNA authors and uh, K. N. Raghumurthy at all. This book consists of the applied portions like the beneficial insects, uh, the storage grain paste portion, the toxicology portion, pesticide appliances portion, some of the prop paste portion and biological control. And the IPM is also very well uh, dis described in Insecta 2. Uh, this book is also very much important and uh, the aspirant of entomology should have to uh, read and revision this book almost 5 to 6 times with, pro with proper with properly. Next, the elements of economic entomology or the triple E book which is written by Basantraj Revit and Ramamurthy. This is one of the most standard books in the market. This book mainly consists of uh, beneficial insect portion, crop pest portion and toxicology portion and uh, mi some minor portions like rodents, crabs, louse, other non-insect pest, acrology portion. These are also covered in this book but we shouldn't uh, need uh, to, uh, to, to learn to read this book completely because mainly uh, for beneficial insect portion and for uh, non-insect paste and toxicology portion uh, you have to go through this book if you if time permits then you can follow the crop paste portion if time permits it is not necessary next 
the handbook of entomology this is written by tv prashad this book is uh, very good and the insect ecology portion is very well written here you can check insect ecology portion from this book now the applied entomology portion which is written by ds reddy this book consists of crop pest portion toxicology and uh, some general entomological portions and uh, some sort of ipm and uh, biological control etc are also mentioned in here an aspirant should have to learn the crop pest portion from this book and the toxicology portion in this book is very well written and uh, you should have to revise the crop pest portion at least 8 to 10 times because that is very confusing part and uh, there are so many scientific names so many symptoms diseases so you have to read this portion thoroughly and uh, next the toxicology portion which consists of the insecticides and their mode of actions like the different insecticides groups are very well uh, written here like organochlorines organophosphate carbamate synthetic pyrethroids neonicotinoids and other recent developed groups and their mode of actions are also described in this book and the aspirant should have to read this portion regularly with proper revision and the pesticide uh, appliances portion is also very well written here you can go through uh, from this book now in this entomology refresher and entomology treatise these are one liner books and uh, they mainly covered these two books mainly covered the whole syllabus by one liners one one liners the aspirant must have to read both of the books very thoroughly because uh, in entomology refresher there are so many important uh, points are given there the aspirants must have to read the ecology portion the biological control portion the toxicology portion and also the fundamental portions like taxonomy morphology and physiology from this refresher very thoroughly because many questions are asked in previous year papers from this uh, entomology refresher directly and entomology treatise book is some sort of high level but uh, you can cover it and the insect vector portion is very well given in this book and you should uh, read the, that insect vector portion chapter at least 5 to 6 times because now it has immense importance so next the nematology portion uh, this is also as much as important like entomology for nematology the textbook of introductory introductory plant nematology by bajaj and walia is the best book available in the market this book is written by icr authors and uh, thoroughly uh, reading of this book is must because every chapter is important from this book from from the beginning like the history of nematology the, the taxonomy of nematodes the biology the ecology and the integrated nematode management that that portion are very well described in this book and the importance of different economic nematodes economically important nematodes like root knot nematode burrowing nematode uh, and other minor nematodes like dagger needle stubby root etc and the entomopathogenic nematodes are very well written and described in this book so the aspirant must have to read this book at least 5 uh, to 6 times with proper proper revision and uh, for one liner questions you can follow the nematology refresher by amit ahuja et al and nematology nematology treatise by devaraja kp et al these two books are mainly for revision purpose and they consist of one liner questions and from nematology treatise book you should go you should go through the different nematological technique chapter because in uh, the textbook of introductory plant nematology uh, means this bajaj and walia book this chapter is not uh, described very well so you can go this chapter through nematology treatise and for objective purpose you can follow the plant nematology at a glance by manjunath et al next the objective books which i mainly followed for practice purpose the first uh, book which i followed is written by supriya biswas which is the question bank of entomology this book is very good and uh, you can follow it and next the objective entomology book by tv prasad this is also a basic objective book 
and uh, different previous year questions paper are also given here uh, you should complete those previous year papers because that's a that's a women immense in, uh, importance and uh, the book which i liked the most is the abstract of agricultural entomology and nematology by priyankar mondol orthogundu and adris dev this book is one of the most uh, genuine book and one of the most uh, good book in market and uh, different questions are available here you can uh, practice this book and uh, the nematological nematology portion is also covered in this book and uh, aspirant should uh, go follow this book and another book which i followed is entomology and overview by kalpana bist and gauri shankar giri this book is very good mainly i followed the ipm portion from this book and uh, the biological control portion has also very good questions which i uh, practiced from this book and the objective agricultural entomology by stephen m halda this book is also very standard book you can follow this book for uh, general general agriculture plus agricultural entomology both are covered in this book so next general agriculture which is the rank decider one in this exam for general agriculture the most important book is a comparative book of agriculture by nimrat sunda mm, you have to uh, you have to read this book and you have to thoroughly read this book at least 15 to 16 times because every line is important of this book and every chapter is important you should not skip any one chapter from this book from the first page to last page means from history of agriculture the first page of this book to the last page like the bio biochemistry or biomolecule portion you should you should go through the you should go through every portions from this book and you shouldn't skip a single line and next for objective questions solving you can follow objective agriculture by sir uh, agriculture by sir kantwa uh, i mainly followed this book for cvt pg exam and uh, this book is also very good for uh, objective questions uh, for jrf exam and uh, if you have time then you can follow fundamentals of agriculture um, by arun kartan uh, the volume one is most important because agronomy soil science and other fundamental subjects are written very well in volume 1 and in volume 2 you can go through the entomology pathology and genetics and plant breeding portion and uh, finally agriculture at a glance by rk sharma if there is time then you can follow it uh, neither you can skip this one so these are the books which i mainly followed for my preparation purpose and uh, i would suggest the aspirant to follow these books not only following you have to thoroughly go through these books at least 7 uh, to 8 revisions are mandatory because entomology is a subject which needs revision because it's completely a subject which has a little just little conception but uh, more uh, things to remember so more revision is is necessary to get a good rank in this examination finally thank you and i will share this book list uh in the comment section thank you very much